drinking detox water and it is so, mm, so good. Hey guys, it's Michelle. Before I get started, I just want to say if my voice sounds a little weird, I don't know if it sounds weird over camera, but if it sounds a little weird, it's because I am kind of sort of sick. I'm actually getting better, so I mean, that's... That's good. So yesterday I was on YouTube and I was watching Jenna Marbles, who I absolutely adore. I flip and love her. She is so, so funny. And she filmed this one video where she kind of just read old memoirs and diary entries from her past when she was a child or teenager. And let me just say, it was funny. So I was thinking, hey, I should do that. As a child, I constantly wrote in diaries and journals. I probably have, you know what, let me count how many journals I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let me just, let me show you guys. These are all my journals from, oh, most if not all of my journals from when I was a child, <laughs> a preteen, a tween. Um, some of them are full, some of them are not as full. So I decided to make a video of me basically just reading old journal entries because it's really, really funny. I was a strange kid. <laughs> so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna start with my very first journal diary. Wow, this um, cover makes me kind of dizzy. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna be censoring as much stuff as I can just for the sake of privacy. So yeah. My first journal entry was on March 5th, 2011. I was 10 years old, so. Let's read what 10 years old Michelle was thinking. Hi, I'm Michelle Yuan. My B-Day is next week and I'm turning 10. Big change for me. You know, the cover makes me feel dizzy. <laughs> but it looks cool. Me and my dad, John, are watching a discovery show called Infested. Eep! It's like talking about ants and other gross stuff. Yikes! And then I drew a picture of Ants, you can't see that, but I drew a picture of ants. A million ants are in the house of the main person-ish. Phew, I'm glad there isn't very many bugs here. <laughs> Nine things that make me smile. Number one, corny jokes. Number two, pop music. Number three, my BFFs. Number four, eating, lol. <laughs> Number five, sleeping, lol. Number six, riding my bike. Yeah, you heard me. Number seven, reading a funny book. Number eight, watching TV-ish. And number nine, computer. Okay. Okay, let's move on. All of these journals have different dates on them, so I'm gonna have to like flip through all of them and try to see what matches up with what. So I'm guessing this was probably my second journal diary. Um, as you can tell, I got it from Justice and it's blue and fuzzy. Okay, March 15th, 2011. Hi, it's Michelle. I own this diary slash journal. <laughs> journal. I'm 10 years old and I go to insert school here. I'm in fourth grade and guess what? Spring break starts tomorrow. I am so excited. This journal is actually really, really cute. I actually really like the cover. Thursday, April 12th, 2012. I was 11 years old. 11, yeah, 11. Oh my gosh. Boy asked me out today, but I said no because I'm way too young to be having a boyfriend. Besides, my good friend, friend, really likes him. So best friends for any boys. And boy is really cute and funny, but he's not really my type. I said no very nicely. I think he hates me now. <laughs> and BTW, all this stuff was from text. Boy is the first guy that asked me out. That's pretty special. But the worst part is he... Let's see my dad's handwriting. Blah, 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 blah. What? Okay. Sorry about that previous page. One minute I'm talking about boy, and the next minute I'm testing out handwriting. Sorry, I had to write something random because my dad came over. Ooh, sneaky. I'm like right in the beginning of pay you birdie. I gotta be careful with my feelings and health. I also gotta watch my weight. I need to eat more. So right now, me and boy are texting, and we're not... Oh, and we're just chatting like normal buddies. April 13th, 2012. So me and boy, same boy that asked me out, are just regular friends now. Phew, things are finally back to normal. 
So I'm at home alone because dad is at a meeting thingy. I'm listening to music. Be back later doing my homework. 10 13 p.m. Hey, I'm listening to music and texting boy number two, my crush. So I'm staring at the phone because he never answers. See, now he ain't answering. Grr. Ugh, sometimes I hate him, but I can't help but smile back when he smiles at me. Ugh, boy number one probably thinks I'm a freak. I said I liked him, now I regret it. Heartbreak. But good news! Boy number two liked three of my statuses on Facebook. And sorry, my handwriting is really bad tonight. August 23rd, 2012. Dear Dryery. Okay, today was a normal, very boring day. Hardly any drama, and that's just weird for middle school. Agree? Boy number two. I'm not sure if I really like him or no. I'm thinking about him all the time. Seriously, I have dreams about him. I blush when he talks to me. I think that my mind is telling me, get over him, he'll never like you back. But my heart is telling me, there's still hope. August 24th, 2012. Dear Dryery, I have bad news. Monday, I'm going to help friend see if boy number two likes her. But boy number two is mine. I mean like, how could boy number two like friend? I mean she's friend. Hopefully he doesn't like her. Well, we'll see on Monday. <laughs> so, here's my long rant. He is mine forever. No one can take him. No one else can love him. He's mine forever. I like him more than any other girl does. He's mine. Mine only. And friend's not gonna stop me. <laughs> I just wish I could tell her that. I'm helping her on Monday though. I don't wanna do it. GTG, bye. <laughs> August 26, 2012. Hey, Dryery. Okay, well, hopefully no one saw that previous page. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> so tomorrow is school. Honestly, I'd rather stay home and sleep. I still feel the same way. Well, tomorrow at recess, me and friend are going to figure out whether boy number two likes friend or not. Hopefully it's not. And if he likes her and they start going out, my life will be over. I'm dead serious. Boy number two cannot like friend. It's either me or nobody, understand? LOL. Well, bye bye, Michelle. So, that was a really, really long video and it was a lot of reading. Probably gonna trim it a lot and cut a lot of parts out. But that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of boy drama in those journals. I feel like when I was younger, I talked to more boys than I do now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.